Ladies and gentlemen, now it is time to start the closing ceremony of the 9th International Orthodontic Congress. The closing address will be given by Dr. Takashi Ono, Chairman of the 9th International Orthodontic Congress. As this exciting event comes to an end, I sincerely appreciate your participation in the Congress. I'm sure that you have enjoyed the WF4 keynote lecture delivered by Dr. Takayuki Kuroda, as well as other lectures delivered by famous invited volunteer speakers, residence forum, virtual exhibitions, and so on. Please appreciate the efforts taken by the local organizing committee for five years after the 8th IOC held in London in 2015. Members include Dr. Isao Saito and Dr. Kazuyoshi Igarashi as vice chairman and many working groups such as Dr. Kunihiko Otsubo of Finance, Dr. Ryuzo Kanomi and Mr. Kiyofumi Ogawa of Fundraising, Dr. Takashi Yamashiro, Dr. Kotaro Maki and Dr. Kazuhito Arai of Kroger, Dr. Hiromi Inobushima of Promotion and Social Media, Dr. Hajime Suyama of Registration, Dr. Yasuyo Nomura, Dr. Noriaki Yoshida, and Dr. Tadashi Shimada of Social Program, Dr. Masahiko Yokozeki, and Dr. Yasushi Nishi of Virtual Venue Management. Mr. Kunio Oishi and Mr. Masaru Miyajima of Exhibition, and Dr. Yoshiro Matsumoto as Secretary General. Their efforts have been enormous because the 9th AOC was held in conjunction with the 12th APOC and the 79th JOS annual meeting, and of course, the sudden change of the format from Hijika to Bacha. The activity of the LOC has been continuously supported by the Honorary Local Advisory, JOS Board of Trustees, Honorary Scientific Advisory, Scientific Advisory, and the LOC Fellows, both domestically and internationally. Without their help, this Congress would have never been successful. Now we will be facing to the new challenges. Many social, human, and environmental factors may disturb our past in future. However, we will, I mean, we have to overcome the obstacles that may come before us by taking effective measures with our wisdom and innovative ideas. I wish for a bright future of orthodontics and for those who are engaged in this superb profession. Thank you again for your kind participation in this great event. The address will be given by Dr. Keiji Moriyama, President of the Japanese Orthodontic Society. Hello everyone. I am Keiji Moriyama, President of the Japanese Orthodontic Society. First, the Japanese Orthodontic Society would like to thank you for attending the virtual 9th International Orthodontic Congress jointly held with 12th Asian Pacific Orthodontic Conference and 79th Annual Meeting of the JOS. With all your support and contributions, we are extremely pleased to say that the Congress has concluded with great success. It is sure that this first ever internationally sponsored and virtually formatted Orthodontic Congress will be remembered for many years to come as a landmark in the history of orthodontics. Our special thanks go to Professor Takashi Ono, Congress Chairman and local organizing committee members for all their hard work, dedication and sacrifice on behalf of this international meeting. We congratulate you on the successful completion of the mission. 
You all deserve a big round of applause. We want to express our sincere gratitude to professors Shigemi Goto and Noriyoshi Shimizu, past president of the JOS, as well as professors Fujio Miura and Takayuki Kuroda, honorary members of WFO. This Congress would never have been realized without their continued support. Sadly, Professor Miura passed away before he saw his dreams of this meeting become reality. We would like to acknowledge all the members of JOS, as well as its affiliated organization, such as seven regional orthodontic society in Japan, including Tokyo Orthodontic Society, the Japanese Association of Orthodontists, and Orthodontic Suppliers Association of Japan, for the enormous amount of support. We would like to give a big thanks to Drs. Yang Hen Zhou, Bryce Lee, Eric Liu, Robert Tan, and the rest of the officers and colleagues from the APOS. They have always been helpful to us by inputting ideas, suggestions to make our Congress more fruitful. Finally, we convey our deepest gratitude to WFO Executive Committee members, especially Drs. Alan Tom, Lee Graeber, Amanda Mapletop, and Nikush Baid. They have been extremely supportive through the pandemic-related difficulties and have kept encouraging us with constructive suggestions and advice from global viewpoints. We can never thank you enough for their cooperation and hard work. Again, we appreciate your participation to the 9th International Orthodontic Congress. We look forward to the future and seeing you in person when you visit us in Japan, as well as when we have the opportunity to visit you in places around the world. Please stay healthy and safe. Thank you all very much. Next, let us introduce the educational grant winners. Now, let us introduce the award winners of the 9th IOC Residence Forum. Let us show the promotion video of the next Asian Pacific Orthodontic Conference. Dear President of the World Federation of Orthodontists, the Asian Pacific Orthodontic Society and the Japanese Orthodontic Society and all members, colleagues and guests. I'm Kyung Ho Kim, President of the Korean Association of Orthodontists. I'm greatly honored to send you Warm greetings on this closing ceremony for the 9th International Orthodontic Congress, jointly held with 12th Asian Pacific Orthodontic Conference and the 79th Annual Meeting of the Japanese Orthodontic Society. I would like to congratulate all of the organizations on this successfully collaborated joint meeting in a high standard of virtual manner. I was very impressed by the systematically organized scientific programs that provided the high demand, practical and educational opportunities, featuring world-class speakers in cutting-edge orthodontics. I would like to express my gratitude and respect to the WFO, APOS, JOS leadership, which has accomplished this up-to-date virtual congress with enormous commitment and dedication. It's with regret that we were unable to connect and build on our friendships this time. But I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the near future. It is my hope that we will catch up in person during the next joint meeting of the 13th Asian Pacific Orthodontic Conference and the 55th Annual Scientific Congress of the Korean Association of Orthodontists.
which will be held in Seoul, Korea from October 27th to 30th in 2022. I wish you all health and happiness. Thank you. The introduction of the 80th Annual Meeting of the Japanese Orthodontic Society and the 5th International Orthodontic Congress will be given by Dr. Kotaro Maki, Chairman of the 80th Annual Meeting of the Japanese Orthodontic Society and the 5th International Orthodontic Congress. We are in charge of the 80th Annual Meeting of JOS and the 5th International Orthodontic Congress. The convention will be held from November 3rd to November 5th, 2021 at Yokohama. The theme of this convention is the expected future of orthodontics. The most important thing in considering the future of orthodontics is to relearn and pass on the philosophy and wisdom of orthodontics as a medical specialty. Also, when introducing advanced technologies, it is important to pay close attention not only to the bright side, but also to the dark side and remaining problems, and to scientifically show the direction of safe and secure medical care. We plan to make special lecture from a Vietnam orthodontist who introduced edgewise technique to Asia and symposium about digital aligner treatment by internationally famous clinicians. We hope this will be a convention to reaffirm our mission to share the various situations brought by digital technologies and to discuss the future of orthodontics. The visual design of this convention reflects the hope that all members will take the view of pioneers, cooperate with each other as a team on the same starship, and move forward with keeping our dreams. We're looking forward to seeing you uh, at this event. Thank you. The address will be given by Dr. Alan Tom, President of the World Federation of Orthodontists. We now come to the end of a memorable virtual international orthodontic conference, the first of its kind. A conference that has taken effort, dedication and organization, all brought together in just a few months. I thank our Japanese colleagues and the Japanese Orthodontic Society for hosting this successful meeting. To be able to view the lectures for another month is a wonderful opportunity. And as I am about to relinquish my presidency, I will have leisurely time to do so. Although I personally say goodbye, I also say welcome. A warm welcome to the new executive to guide the WFO through the next five years. The WFO works as a team and any successful team relies upon its support staff. To the WFO Secretariat, a sincere thank you. I have just been a runner, on the track, holding the baton, and the time has come for the baton to pass safely and seamlessly to the next president Dr. Nicholas Thade. We can be in no doubt that the WFO is in safe hands and with his outstanding executive, the Federation will continue to go from strength to strength. I convey my best wishes to the new leadership and the team. It has been an honor to serve as president of the WFO and the pinnacle of my presidential professional life. We will all be together in 2025 in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, a celebration I look forward to. I know the chair of the next conference, Dr. Flavia Artesi, will open our eyes to what we can expect. Thank you. Next, 
The address will be given by Dr. Nikolesh Vaid, the next president of the World Federation of Orthodontists. Thank you, Alan, for more than 15 years of dedicated service to the WFO. I'm honored to be your friend, colleague, and in your words, the runner that takes the baton from you until I pass it on to the next. You leave metaphorically large shoes to fill, Alan, your supreme leadership skills have seamlessly turned adversity into opportunity on many occasions, and the WFO is thankful to you. We also doff our hats to other retiring members of the WFO executive, Drs. Amanda Maplethorpe, Thomas Amon, Jonathan Sandler, Joseph Guzaral, K.G. Moriyama, and Himawan Halim have served on the EC honorably for 10 years, and their contributions will be remembered fondly. Dear colleagues, as the new WFO executive commences its tenure, we do acknowledge the rapidly changing world, a world where we are connected by more things than the ones that divide us. The orthodontic world today is much smaller than it ever was. The need for the profession thus to collaborate has never been greater. How we collaborate and make collaboration a habit will be the most important force driving our future. The spirit of global collaboration is exactly what the WFO stands for. At this point, I'd like to repeat what has often been said before. The WFO is not just an office located in St. Louis, United States of America. We invite each and every specialist orthodontist in the world to be a stakeholder in the WFO. Our EC will reach out to you through leadership in your region so that we can ideate collectively as we chart the path for the speciality and the federation. As curtains draw on the ninth International Orthodontic Congress, let's take a moment to thank our Japanese colleagues for a meeting painstakingly put together for us. This meeting will probably be a curtain raiser for a new era in orthodontic congresses. We will meet again for an International Orthodontic Congress in 2025, this time in the vibrant city of Rio, where Dr. Flavia Artizi and her team at Abor have an orthodontic carnival lined up for us. So mark your dates. See you in Rio. 2025. The introduction of the 10th International Orthodontic Congress will be given by Dr. Flavia Artez, Chairman of the 10th International Orthodontic Congress. The 9th IOC is coming to its end, and the Japanese Orthodontic Society, together with the World Federation of Orthodontics, has excelled in uniting the orthodontic world in science, innovation, and friendship. But this is not a farewell message. Rather, it's a message of continuity. I am Flavia Artez, chair of the 10th IOC, and the Brazilian Association of Orthodontics, together with the World Federation of Orthodontics, will be hosting this event in the city of Rio de Janeiro. I was born and raised in Rio, a picturesque city that grew between the mountains and the sea, holding the largest urban forest in the world, quite a place to visit. The motto of the 10th IOC is Rio embracing the world. And with this in mind, we selected a very special venue that can host up to 10,000 attendees. The most famous landmark of this city is the statue of Christ the Redeemer, with his arms wide open to welcome all the visitors in town. And it is exactly with this spirit, with this welcoming spirit, with our arms wide open, that we are hosting this 10th IOC in the city of Rio de Janeiro. So I hope to see you all in 2025. Mark your calendars, October 2025, the 10th IOC in Rio de Janeiro. Hope to see you here.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the closing ceremony of the 9th International Orthodontic Congress.